front of Grommet Chinese Theater in Hollywood. Every star is at Monumental Pictures' premiere of The Royal Rascal, the outstanding event of 1927. We are breathlessly awaiting the arrival of tonight's glorious stars. Lena Lamont and Don Lockwood. Woo! No, no, ladies and gentlemen, that was not them. That was the famous Zip Girl, the darling of the flapper sets, Zelda Sanders. Woo! And her new red hot patch, Jay Cumberland Spendril the Third. This is her ninth marriage. This time, I know it's love. Mm, yeah. have just heard is the arrival of the exotic star, Olga Mara. your listeners to know this is just what they've asked for. Those romantic lovers of the screen at their best. Oh, thank you, RF. And now, their director, Roscoe Dexter. Would you like to say a word? Hi, Adora. Say, Adora, what do you do in between premieres? I have three children. Every time? Oh, thank you, Roscoe. And now, the man who plays the piano on set to get Lena and Dawn into those romantic moods. Cosmo, would you like to say a word? Well, Dora, tell them I agree with whatever RF said, and furthermore, I'd, I'd like to... Ladies and gentlemen, you should see this gorgeous couple. It is no wonder they are a household name all over the world, like bacon and eggs. Lockwood and Lamont. Don, you can tell me confidentially. Are those rumors true that there are soon to be wedding bells for you and Lena? Well, Dora, Lena and I have no statements to make at this time. We're just good friends. Just good friends? Oh, do I hear the wedding march? I, I, I don't know. Cosmo, can you play the wedding march? Oh, you've come a long way together, Don. Won't you tell us how it all happened? No, no, Dora. Not in front of all of these people. But Don, the story of your success should be an inspiration to the young people all over the world. Please. Well, Dora, I've had one motto which I've always lived by. Dignity. Always dignity. This was instilled in me by mom and dad from the very beginning. They sent me to the best dancing schools. Where I met my lifelong friend. Cosmo Brown. <laughs> and with him, I used to perform for all of mom and dad's society friends.
they used to make such a fuss over me. Then, if I was very good, I was allowed to accompany mom and dad to the theater. They brought me up on Shaw and Moliere, the finest of all the classes. <laughs> This stimulated my love for performing. And to this, we added rigorous musical training at the conservatory. In a few years, Cosmo and I were ready to embark on a dance concert tour. We played the finest symphonic halls in the country. I can jump over the moon up above If it has a fiddle and ready for love Having a worry, having a care Feel like a feather that's floating on air If it has a fiddle and ready for love Soon the church bells will be ringing And we'll march with Ma and Pa How the church bells will be ringing With a hey naughty naughty and a hot cha cha Hi little diddle, my baby's okay Ask me a riddle and what does she say? Let us fiddle and ready for love Now, I'm sure that all you fans know out there that there was a movie scout out one night while Dawn was performing, and the rest is history! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Lena Lamont and Dawn Lockwood will continue making motion picture history in their greatest picture to date, The Royal Rascal. Ooh! <laughs>
you, ladies and gentlemen. We are pretty darn thrilled at your response to the Royal Rascal. We had fun making it, and I sure hope you had a fun time seeing it tonight. Folks, we screen actors aren't much good at speaking in public, so we'd better just act out our thanks. Hot dog, kid, did the smash. Hey, Mr. Simpson. Lena, you were gorgeous. Yeah, Lena, you look pretty good for a girl. For heaven's sake! What's the idea? Can a girl get a word in edgewise? Then my public, too. Oh, well, Lena, you see, the publicity department, well, Rod here, decided that maybe it would be better if, if Don made all the speeches for the team moving forwards. Why? Lena, you're a beautiful woman and the audience thinks you got a voice to match. Well, what's wrong with the way I talk? I mean, what's the big idea? Am I dumb or something? Uh, no, no, it's not that. It's just, well, you see, Don is so much more grizzled in this industry, and he's so much better fit for this. Next time, uh, write me out a, a speech. I could memorize it. Sure. Why don't you go out right now and recite the Gettysburg Address? My fiance, so oh, Lena, you've been reading the fan magazines again. You shouldn't believe all that banana oil, Dora column, and then the columnist dish out. There is nothing between us. There has never been anything between us. Just air. No, you don't mean that. Now come on, Donnie, or we'll be late for Mr. Simpson's party. Miss Lamont, we're going in separate cars to break up the mobs. Okay. Ta ta, Donnie, I'll see you there. Ta ta, Lena, I'll see you there. Hurry up, Don. I've got a lot of press waiting. This cooked up romance, Cosmo, just for publicity. Price of fame, Don. You've got the glory. You've got to take the little heartaches that go with it. Now look at me. I've got no fame. I've got no glory. But I've got. Hey, what have I got? I don't know. What have you got? I've got to get out because of here. Because you could have all those things. You've got all kinds of talent. All you need is a little drive. Drive? Why don't you say so? The car's right outside. Let's go. Thanks. I, I think I'd rather walk. I could use the fresh air. Are you kidding? The fans will mob you. Cause, do me a favor. See that nice cashmere coat and hat? Put them on, step into my limo, and you are Don Lockwood. Sure, why not? I love playing the role of a star. It fits so well. Well. Not the coat, just the roll. Thanks, guys. See you at the party. You, Don Lockwood? Funny, you should say that. I I'm often mistaken for him, Noah. No, I I'm just your average, everyday citizen waiting here for a trolley with my girl. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing, no, just, just do me a favor, they're after me. Let go of me, I'll, I'll call a policeman. Please don't do that. Thanks all the same for the compliment. I love his movies too, bye. Don't hurt me. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not a criminal. I don't care who you are, just go away. Now please, let me explain, I could. You are a criminal. I've seen that face someplace before. You're a, you're a famous gangster. I've seen your pictures in the papers or the, the post office, the letter numbers on your chest. Officer, officer! What is it, young lady? If, if this man, he sat down here and well, I, I just don't know. Well, why, it's Don Lockwood. D Don Lockwood. How are you, Mr. Lockwood? Out for a stroll? Actually, yes. A anything I can do for you, Mr. Lockwood? No, thanks. And you, young lady? Why, no. Well, you sure are a lucky lady. All right, then. Good night, Mr. Lockwood. Good night, and... Well, thanks for saving my life. I'd like very much to know which hospitality I'm enjoying. 
Selgan. <laughs> Kathy Selgan. Enchanted Miss Selden. I'm, I'm sorry I frightened you. I was getting just a little too much love from my adoring fans. Oh, that's what you were running away from? You can't even go out for a walk. That's terrible. No, it's not terrible at all, actually. Uh, we movie stars get all the glory. I guess we have to take the little heartache that goes along with it. You see, uh, people think we live lives of glamour and romance. Truth is, we're lonely. Terribly lonely. Well, uh, Mr. Lockwood, I, I can't tell you how sorry I, I was about, about taking you for a criminal before, but it, it was understandable under the circumstances. I knew I'd seen you. Oh, of course. Uh, which one of my pictures have you seen? Oh, I don't remember. I, I saw one once. You saw one once? Yes, I, ooh, I, I think you were. Dueling? Yes, and, oh, oh, there was that girl, uh. Lena, Lena Lamont? Right. Oh, I don't go to the movies much. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Well, thank you. Oh, well, no offense, but, but you see, I'm not interested in the movies. I guess they're entertaining enough for the masses, but the personalities on the screen don't impress me. I mean, th they don't act. They just make a lot of dumb show. Well, you know. <sighs> like that. You mean like what I do? Well, yes. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I'm not an actor? Pantomime on the screen isn't acting? Well, of course not. Acting means great parts, wonderful lines, speaking those glorious words, Shakespeare, Ibsen. Well, what's your lofty mission in life to let you sneer at my humble profession? Well, I'm an actress oh, on the stage. Oh. Oh, an actress. I'd like to see you act. What are you in right now? I could uh, brush up on my English, bring along an interpreter. That is, if they let in a movie actor. Well, I'm not in a play right now, but I will be. I'm going to go to New York. Oh, and New then York? And then we'll all just hear about you someday, won't we? Kathy Selden is uh, as Juliet, as, as Lady Macbeth, as King Lear. You'll, you'll have to wear a beard for that one, Oh, of you can laugh if you want to, but at least the stage is a dignified, honorable profession. And what have you got to be so conceited about, huh? You're nothing but a shadow on film. You're not flesh and blood. Oh, no? Stop! What? What could I possibly do to you? I am just a shadow! You keep away! Just because you're some big movie star, wild party swimming pools, you expect every girl to fall in a dead thing at your feet. Well, don't you touch me! Fear not, sweet lady. I will not molest you. Nay, I am a shadow, and you, my fair damsel, are but a figment of my imagination. You stepped out of a dream. You are too wonderful to be what you seem. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you before. I should have my eyes examined. They look all right to me. Could there be eyes like yours? Could there be lips like yours? Could there be smiles like yours? Honest and true. Stepped out of a cloud I want to take you away Away from the crowd And have you all to myself Alone and apart Out of a dream Safe in my heart Stepped out of a dream, you are too wonderful to be what you seem. Could there be eyes like yours? Could there be lips like yours? Could there be smiles like yours? Honest and true.
stepped out of a cloud. I want to take you away, away from the crowd. And have you all to myself, alone and apart, out of a dream, safe in my heart. And have you all to yourself, alone and apart, out of a dream, safe in his heart. And have you all think so. Really? There are ways. Oh, to... what would I have to do? Well, it's simple. Meet me Saturday afternoon in front of the Lowe's Theater. I'll, I'll take you in. Unless, of course, there's something playing I've seen already, in which case you're on your own. Oh! Soldier on Tilly! Oh. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Hiya, Cosmo. Don, I thought you weren't coming. What, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh. Just my fans wanting a piece of Don Lockwood. Listen, Cosmo, am I a good actor? As long as I work for Monumental Pictures, you're the greatest of them all. No kidding, Cosmo. You're my pal, you can tell me. What's the matter with you? Of course you're good. All right, well, uh, just keep telling me from time to time. I, I feel a little shaken. The new Don Lockwood. Don! Hello, ORF. Don, it's Colossal. Where have you been? You know, we've been waiting been holding the whole show for you. <sighs> All right, listen up, everybody. We got a few little surprises for you tonight. Come on, stand aside, stand aside. A, a movie? We've just seen one. Have to play a movie at a party, it's the Hollywood law. Listen up, everybody. This is gonna hand you a lot of laughs. See, there's a man been coming into my office for months and, well, you got that gadget working, Sam? All right, let her rip. Who's that? This is a demonstration of a talking picture. Notice it is a picture of me, and I am talking. Note how my lips and the sound issuing from them are synchronized together in perfect unison. My voice Come out from behind that screen, record. Mr. Simpson. Uh, so no, no, I'm, I'm right here. Oh. The projection machine has to run simultaneously with the unreeling of the film. A talking picture. Thank you. Goodbye. Well? My gosh, R.F., you're crazy! <laughs> Do you think they'll ever really use it? Oh, I doubt it. The Warner Brothers are planning on making a whole talking picture with this gadget. The jazz singer, <laughs> they'll lose their shirts. What do you think of it, Dexter? They'll never amount to a thing. 
That's what they said about horses' carriage. Oh, there you are, Donnie. Where have you been? I was lonely. Hello, Lena. Look at you two together again. My two little stars, Don and Lena. No kidding. Aren't they great folks? All right, now, on with the show. Now this, this is for you two. It's a very special cake filled with lots of delicious surprises. Well, if it isn't Ethel Barrymore. Please. Oh, what? I hope you can favor us with something special tonight. Hamlet's soliloquy, or, or the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet, or maybe. Mr. Lockwood, oh, I don't have be to... shy. That's the perfect costume for Juliet. <laughs> wanted to let you know how much I enjoyed Excuse your performance. Me. Don't go! Now that I know you live in a cake, let me see you Oh, what a we this game anyway? Oh, someone lofty and far above us all. An actress on a legitimate stage. She couldn't learn anything from the movies. Nope. Here's one thing I learned from the movies. Oh, oh. oh Lena, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. I'm so sorry. I didn't now, now, Lena. She was angry. Lena, you've never looked lovelier. Oh, let me get my hand on it. Oh, this is all a mistake, Lena. A, a little accident. Sure, it happens to me five oh, or six times. Hey. Now, now, Lena. Remember your dignity. Dignity, my ass. Where is she? Um, did you see one of those performers rush by? Yeah, Don, she went that way. Could there be eyes like yours? Could there be lips like yours? Could there be smiles? Did you read Variety today? No, why? First talking picture novelty, The Jazz Singer. All-time smash, end of first week. All-time flop, end of second. Look at your new luck with the Mott film. I'm sure it'll be another smash. Aren't they all? All I do is play along. Enter the star. Good luck, Mr. Lockwood. Thanks, Rod. Well, new picture, new role. Comte Pierre de Bataille. 
better known as the Dueling Cavalier. What's this one about? A French Revolution story. I've got it. You're a, a French aristocrat. She's a simple girl of the people. And she won't even give you a tumbrel. <gasps> well, it's a living. Why bother to shoot this picture? Why don't you just release the last one under a new title? You've seen one, you've seen them all. Why would you say that? Say what? That's what that Kathy Selden said to me that night. <laughs> Three weeks ago and you're still thinking about it, huh? I, I can't get her off my mind. Why, of course you can. She's the first girl who hasn't fallen for our line since you were four. She's on my conscience. Hey. It's not your fault she lost a job at the Coconut Grove. I've got to find her. Well, you've been trying, haven't you? Short of sending out bloodhounds and a posse. I suppose so. Come on now, Don. Snap out of it. You can't let a little thing like this get you down. Well, you're Don Lockwood, aren't you? And Don Lockwood's an actor, isn't he? Well, what's the first thing an actor learns? The show must go on. Come rain, come shine, come sleet, come snow. The show must go on. Now listen. <laughs> Short people have long faces, and long people have short faces. Big people have little humor, and little people have no humor at all. And in the words of that immortal bard, Samuel J. Snodgrass, as he was about to be led to the guillotine, Make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? My dad said be an actor, my son. But be a comic, go on, they'll for those old honky tonk monkey shines. Now you could study Shakespeare and be quite elite. And you could charm the critics and have nothing to eat. Just slip on a banana peel, the world's at your feet. Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. Make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to? My grandpa said, go out and tell him a joke. But give it plenty of hope, make them roar. Make them scream, take a fall, bust the wall, slit a seam. You start up by pretending you're an answer with grace. You wiggle till they're giggling all over the place. And then you get a great big gust you fly in the face. Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. Make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't shut up, but. Here we go again. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Mr. 
Mr. Dexter. Hello, Mr. Dexter. Hello, Mr. Dexter. Hello. Hey, let's get those lights set, fellas. Hey, what are we waiting for? Hey, where's Lena? Miss Lena Lamont on the set, please. Miss Lena Lamont on the set, please. Miss Lena Lamont on the set, please. Here comes Miss Lamont now. Here comes Miss Lamont now. Here comes Miss Lamont now. I know, I know. Here comes our lovely leading lady, Lena. Hey, let's go. Gee, this wig weighs a ton. What kind of dope would wear a thing like this? Everybody used to wear them, Lena. Then everybody was a dope. Honey, you look beautiful. Yes, you look great. Now let's get into the set. Hey, where's Dawn? Mr. Lockwood on the set, please! Mr. Lockwood on the set, please! Mr. Lockwood on the set, please! Mr. Lockwood is Dino. on the set. Oh, hello, Dawn. I'm so glad you're here. I looked for you the other night at Wally Race Party. Where were you? Oh, I've been busy. And I know what you've been busy at. Looking for that girl. As a matter of fact, yes. Why? I've been worried about her. Well, you should have been worried about me a little. I'm the one who got whipped cream in my kisser. But you didn't lose your job, and she did. Yeah, and I arranged it. What? They told me they weren't going to fire her, so I called them up and told Why, them they better. you spoiled little brat! Uh, I swear okay, to God. Okay, Don. Now remember, you're madly in love with her, and you have to overcome her shyness and timidity. Okay, Cosmo, mood music. Roll him. Okay, Don. Enter. You see her. You run to her. Why, you rattlesnake. You got that poor kid fired. <gasps> That's not all I'm gonna do if I ever get my hands on her. I never heard of anything so low. What you have to do it for? Cause you liked her. I could tell. Believe me, I don't like her half as much as I hate you. You reptile. Sticks and stones may break my bones. I'd like to break every bone in your body. You and who else, you big lummox? Now kiss her, Dawn! That's it, more, more! Great, that's perfect, that's absolutely perfect. Cut! Oh. Let's get another take. Oh, Donnie! You, you couldn't kiss me like that and I'll need it a teensy bit! Make the greatest doctor in the world! I'd rather kiss a tarantula! No, you don't mean that! Oh, no! Bring me a tarantula! Lena, I mean it, I'm telling you for the last- You love birds? Let's hold get another it, Dexter, take. hold it. Mr. Simpson, we're really rolling. Well, you can stop rolling at once. Huh? Don, Lena, come here. All right, everybody, save it! Save it! Save it! Save it! Save it. Tell them to go home. We're shutting down for a few weeks. We're shutting down? Oh, RF, what's this all about? The jazz singer. That's what's this all about. The jazz singer. It's, it's a sensation, Don. The public is screaming for more. More what? Talking pictures. Talking pictures. Talking pictures. That's that little freak that... Oh, well, we should have such a freak at this studio. Now, I told you talking pictures were a menace, but nobody would listen. Dexter, we've got to put our best foot forward. You and I are gonna make the dueling cavalier into a talking picture. Why don't you take a second, Mr. Simpson? Just think about it. You look, you try, you see. Nope, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, Roscoe. All the theaters are putting in their best sound equipment, and we don't want to be left out of it. But we don't know anything about this gadget. You look, you try, you see. Oh, what's to know, Roscoe? It's a picture. You do what you always did. You just, you add talking to it. Don, believe me, it'll be a sensation. Here, picture this. Lockwood and Lamont, they talk. Well, of course we talk. Doesn't every 
everybody. <laughs> Lena, you're talking me. Bring back the silent picture. Now focus up, boys. We're gonna rush this thing through. We'll shoot in three weeks and work day and night. Talking pictures, that, that means I'm out of a job. At last, I can start suffering and write that symphony. You're not out of a job, Cosmo. I'm putting you up to head our new music department. Well, thanks, RF. At last, I can stop suffering and write that symphony. <laughs> Warner Brothers, watch out. Monumental pictures will soon be making movie musicals and motion picture history. lunch now. Kathy, will you change and come back, please? Yes, Mr. Phillips. Looks good, Phillips. Real good. I think that we might be able to meet the competition this year. Say, who was that, that little girl that just left? She looks familiar. I knew you'd notice her. I wanted to talk to you about her. I featured her in this number because I believe she has a lot of talent. She'd be very good for the part of the kid's sister. Well, that's a swell idea. When can I hear her sing? She's changing clothes right now. Why don't you wait a couple minutes? Let's get Cosmo Brown in here. I've already sent for him. I wanted Cosmo to hear her sing before you did, RF, to see if he felt the same as I did. Kathy, will you come here for a minute? I'd like you to meet Mr. Simpson. How do you do? I gather you're a very talented young lady. Thank you. Kathy, I'd like you to sing for Mr. Simpson. Now, if that's all right with you. Sh sure, I I'd, l I'd love to. 
Do you know you are my lucky star? What key? E flat. Don, do you know this young lady? That's Kathy Selden. Well, I was thinking of casting her as the kid's sister and beautiful girl. That's terrific! <sighs> Thanks, Mr. Simpson. It was nice of you. Uh, uh, now, now, no, wait a no minute. No point in discussing it any further, Mr. Simpson. I'm halfway off this lot right now. What do you mean? Well, before Mr. Lockwood refreshes your memory, you may as well know that I'm the girl who hit Miss Lamont with the cake. Believe me, it was meant for Mr. Lockwood. I'm sorry, Sid, I should have told you about it sooner. Goodbye. Wait, wait just a second, Miss Eldon. RF, what's this all about? Well, we were going to cast Miss Selden in a featured role, but if it'll make you and Lena unhappy, then- Unhappy? I think it's wonderful. He's been looking for her for weeks. Are you speaking for Lena as well? Now, RF, the owner of the Coconut Grove may do what Lena tells him to, but you're the head of this studio. Yes, I am the head of this studio, and she's hired. Don't any of you let Lena find out she's on the lot, all right? Now, it's all taken care of. It's all, it's all settled. Yep, yep, yep. take care of it, Phillips. Thank you, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Sig. You deserve it. I'm glad you turned up, Kathy. We've been looking inside every cake in town. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmo. Taxi! <laughs> have you really been looking for me? I turned this town upside down. Then I got the New York office on it. I, I remember you said the New York stage was clamoring for you. A, a slight exaggeration. I was clamoring for the New York stage. In fact, I, I started out from New York, and then the talkies came. Well, up to now, I haven't thought much of the talkies, but if that's what brought you here, it's the greatest invention since the wheel. 
N n now look, Mr. Lockwood, Now I look, Mr. Lockwood, just because you're a big movie star doesn't mean a girl is going to want to have lunch with you just like that. Will you have lunch with me? Just like that? Sure. <laughs> Main dining room right this way. Don't, don't you usually tear a pheasant at lunch with Miss Lamont? Now look, Kathy, all that stuff about Lamont and me is sheer publicity. Oh, it, it certainly seemed more than that from, from what I've read in, in the columns and all those articles in the fan magazines. Oh, and you read the fan magazines. Oh, I glance at them in the beauty parlor dentist's office. Well, I only buy four or five a month. <laughs> and, well, you do achieve a level of intimacy in all your pictures that would lead one to... All of my pictures. I guess, now that I think of it, I've, I've seen eight or nine of them. But, but I still insist. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. I did say some awful things that night, didn't I? I deserve them. I, I must admit, I was pretty much upset by them. So upset that I haven't been able to think of anything but you ever since. I've been a little upset too. Kathy, seeing you again. Now that I've... Well, well Kathy, I, I'm trying to tell you something. But, well, <laughs> I'm such a ham, I don't think I could do it without the proper setting. What do you mean? Wait a second. A, a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Mists from the distant mountains. <laughs> Colored lights in a garden. A lady is standing on her balcony in a rose trellis bower, flooded with moonlight. Add 500,000 kilowatts of stardust, a soft summer breeze, and... Kathy, you look lovely in the moonlight. Now that you have the proper setting, can you say it? I'll try. Life was a song. You came along. I laid awake the whole night through. If I but dared to think you cared, this is what I'd say. I was meant for you. Nature patterned you, and when she was done, you were all the sweet things rolled up in one. You're like a plaintive mellow. That never lets me free. But I'm content. The angels must have sent you, and they meant you just.
two, 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 two. No, Miss Lamont, round tones, round tones. Now, let me hear you read your line. And I can't stand him. And I can't stand him. And I can't stand him. Can't. Can't, can't, can't. Very good. Now, round the rocks the rugged rascal ran. Around the rocks the rock. No, no. Rocks, rocks. Around the rocks the rugged rascal ran. Very good. Now, sinful Caesar sipped his sniffed. Oh, hiya, Cosmo. Hello, Don. <coughs> Shall I continue? Oh, yes, go ahead. Don't mind him. Sinful Caesar sipped his snifter, seized his knees, and sneezed. Sinful Caesar snipped his no, no. sip. Sipped his snifter. Sipped his snifter. Oh, thank you. Sinful Caesar sipped his snifter, seized his knees, and sneezed. Oh, marvelous, marvelous. 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 Oh, here's a good one. Chester chooses chestnuts, cheddar cheese, and chewy chives. He chews them, and he chooses them. He chooses them and he chews them. Those chestnuts cheddar cheese with chives in cheery, charming chunks. Wonderful. Do another one. <laughs> Moses supposes his toeses are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. But Moses, he knows his toeses aren't roses, as Moses supposes his toeses to be. M Moses supposes his toeses are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. But, but Moses, he knows his toeses aren't roses, as Moses supposes his toeses to be. Moses supposes his toeses are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. A rose is a rose. A Moses is a Moses. A toes is a toes. Whoop de doo de doo de. Moses supposes his toeses are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. But Moses, he knows his, his toes aren't roses, as Moses supposes his toes to be. Moses supposes his toes are roses, Moses. but Moses supposes erroneously. But Moses knows his, his toes aren't roses, as Moses supposes his toes is to be. Roses are roses, are roses, are roses, are roses, are roses, but Moses supposes his toes could be a lily or an apple down daily. It's gotta be a rose, cause it rhymes with Moses. Moses!
Quiet! 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 Shh! <clears throat> Roll them! Roscoe, she's gonna speak into the mic. I can't pick it up. Cut! Lena, darling, I told you there's a microphone right there in the tree. Yeah. And you talk towards it. Well, I was talking! Now look, Lena, there's the microphone right there in the tree. Yeah. And you talk towards it. The sound goes through this cable into that box where a man records it on a big record in wax. But first, you have to talk into the microphone in the tree. Now let's try that again. Okay. Gee, this is dumb. Yeah, it's just dumb. Quiet! 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 Lights, roll them. Oh, Pierre, you come. You're flirting with danger. They Cut. will. Lena, I told you to talk into the microphone. I can't make love to a tree. All right, all right. We'll have to think of something else. for sound, honey. Okay, Lena. Now look at that flower. See? The mic is in there. It should catch whatever you say. So let's hear how that sounds. Okay? Okay. Okay. Quiet! 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 Lights! Roll them! Oh, Pierre, you shouldn't have come. You're flirting with danger. What's that noise? The mic's picking up her heartbeat. Oh, your head is much too valuable. Swell. Let's just swell. Cut! <laughs> That's right. That should do it. Okay, now Lena, the microphone is on your shoulder, darling. And all you have to do is talk towards it. Okay. That's it. Now don't make any sudden jerky movements or you might disconnect the microphone. Okay. 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 Quiet! Quiet! Lights! Roll them! Oh, Pierre, you shouldn't have come. Dexter, what's this wire doing here? No, this is, this is dangerous. better not go into the theater together. Yeah, Lena's probably waiting at the door. Kathy, how much I wish. Don't worry, Don. I'll be leading the cheering squad from the balcony. Second only to the queen. And I am this 
We've got to, Dexter. We're booked to release all over the country in six weeks. But, you know, maybe we'll get by. You know, Lockwood and Lamont are such big stars. I never want to see that Lockwood and Lamont again! That was just awful! This is the worst picture ever made! I liked it! Well, take a last look at it. It'll all be up for auction in the morning. You're out of your mind. It's Saturday. No bank's going to foreclose until Monday. Oh, dong, it, it, it wasn't that bad. No, there's no use kidding myself. Once they release the dueling Cavalier, Lockwood and Lamont are through. Well, well things went wrong with the sound. If if you just get the technical end straightened out, then No, maybe... it wasn't just that! Something happened to me tonight! Hi. Well, everything you said about me is true, Kathy. I'm no actor. I'm just a lot of dumb show. A shadow. I know that now. Well, at least you're taking it lying down. No kidding, Cosmo. Did you ever see anything as idiotic as me on that screen tonight? Yeah, how about Lena? Dawn, you're not through. Why, of course not. Why, with your good looks and figure, you could drive an ice wagon or shine shoes. Block hats. Sell pencils. Dig ditches. Or worse yet, go back into vaudeville. Fit as a fiddle, ready for love. I can jump over the moon above. Fit as a fiddle and ready for love. 
too bad I didn't do that in the Dueling Cavalier. They might have actually liked it. Why don't you? What? Make a musical. Sure, a musical picture. Wait a second. Why don't you turn the Dueling Cavalier into a musical? That's impossible. Why? You still got six weeks before it's released. Sure, add in some songs and dances, trim the bad scenes, add a few new ones. And, and you've then... got it. Yeah. But, but do you think it would work? Of course it'll work. It's a cinch. All right, all right, all right. The picture can be saved. Hot dog! Hallelujah! Listen, if we can pull this off, this day will go down in history for me. April 1st. Ah, uh, no, your historic day is not the first, it's the second. What do you mean the second? It's 1.30 already. <laughs> it's morning. Yes, and what a lovely morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So good morning, good morning. Sunbeams will soon shine through. Good morning, good morning to you. And you, and you, and you. Good morning, good morning. We've got the whole night through. Good morning. Could be greater than to be in Louisiana. In the morning, in the morning, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. I'd be just as if it wasn't Mississippi. When we left the movie show, the future wasn't bright. But came the dawn, the show went on, and I don't want to say good night. So say good morning. Good morning. Rainbows are shining through. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Muchas frias. Buongiorno. Ajitorno. Good morning. Gracias, Morgan. Good, Good morning. morning to you. can do to save this picture. Wait a minute. I can do it. What about Lena? Lena. Lena. She can't sing. She can't act. She can't dance. A triple threat. <laughs> What's so funny? I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I think I liked her best when, when the sound went out and she said, Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. 
Yes. Wait a second, I'm about to be absolutely brilliant. Kathy, come here, sing. Huh? Sing. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Don. We've talked Keep the your eyes you. riveted on my face. Good morning to you. Watch my mouth. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Well, convincing? Enchanting. Why? Don't you get it? Use Kathy's voice. Lena just moves her mouth and Kathy's voice comes over singing and talking for her. That's wonderful. No, Kathy, I couldn't let you do it. Why not? You wouldn't be seen. You'd be throwing away your own career. This has nothing to do with my career. It's only for the one picture. The important thing now is to save the dueling cavalier. Save Lockwood and Lamont. Yeah. All right. But if it's only for this one picture, do you really think we could do it? Of course we can do it. Sure, and it's easy to work the numbers. You just dance around Lena and teach her how to bow. All right, I'll spring it on RF in the morning. Don, you're a genius. Well, I'm glad you thought of it. Oh, Cosmo. Oh, well, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Almost my bedtime. I guess I'll... Uh... Gee, strange weather we're having. Bye, Don. Bye, Don. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Cosmo. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Don. Bye. Bye. Cosmo? All right, well, uh, I'll walk you home. You better take care of that throat. You're a big singing star now, remember? The California dew is a little heavier than usual this evening. Really? From where I'm standing, the sun is shining all over the place. It is raining. Maybe I'll call a car. Well, bye, Kathy. Bye, Don. What a lovely night. I think I'm gonna walk.
dancing in the rain. That's wonderful, Cosmo. It's wonderful. But now look, we'll keep the whole thing a secret until we're ready to release, you know, just in case it doesn't come off. I'm a little worried about Lena. She doesn't like Miss Selden. There might be fireworks. If she sees her, she'll kill her. Now, now, I guarantee you Lena won't even know she's on the lot. Oh, now I'm counting on you, Cosmo. The dueling cavalier can finally be saved. Now let's see, the dueling cavalier with music. The, uh, the, t the title, the title's not right. We need a, um, a musical title. Well, think, everybody, think. How about the dueling mammy? No. How does this grab you? The dueling, sometimes dancing cavalier. No. 
Well, if that's the way you feel, all right. I thought it was cute. I thought it was perky. I am an artiste. <laughs> oh, got it, I got it. I don't got it. The Dancing Cavalier. The Dancing Cavalier, well, that's the dumbest title. Why, that's it. Very good, Cosmo. Cosmo, remind me to make you a script writer. Well, thanks, Star Rap. Have a cigar. All right. Thanks. Now, you boys are sure Lena won't find out about this, right? Don't worry. We'll record all of her scenes at night. And we'll dub them in with her dialogue when no one else is around. Very good, Cosmo. Listen, remind me to give you a raise. Oh, well, Laura. Yes? Give me a raise. A raise. Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever... You've got it. Very good, Cosmo. Right, Kathy, just a test. Ready. And would you dare to say we'll do the same as they? I would, would you? How's it looking there? Great. That'll be great. Okay, Kathy, you ready? Sure. I'll cue up the orchestra playback and we'll record the whole number. That was great! Enough already! All set in there? Right. Nothing can keep us apart. Our love will last till the stars turn cold. All right, Kathy, go ahead. Nothing can keep us apart. Our love will last till the stars turn cold. Playback. Let me check. That's perfect. That was great, perfect cut. For the stars turn cold. I love you, Ethel Barrymore. Oh, darling. Kathy, I... I can't wait till this picture's finished. Then, I'm going to let Lena know. Let everyone know. Your fans will be bitterly disappointed. From now on, there's only one fan I'm worried about. What to 
did I tell you, Lena? Oh, darn. Delta, you're a real pal. No, no, oh, Lena. I want that girl off the lot at once. She's not going to be my voice. Zelda here told me everything. Thanks, Zelda, you're a real pal. Anytime, Zorn. Now look, Miss Lamont, Don and I happen. Don? Don't you call him Don? I've been calling him Don since before you were born. I mean, you were kissing him. I was kissing her. I happened to be in love with her. That's ridiculous. Everybody knows you love me. Now, Lena, try and understand this. I'm going to marry her. Just a flirt trying to get ahead by using you. But I'll put a stop to that. I'm going right up in CRF now. You're a little too late, Lena. We're going to get this picture finished. And if this girl weren't in the picture, you'd be finished too. As far as I'm concerned, she's the only one who's finished. Who will ever hear of her? Everybody. Kathy nearly stole beautiful girl, and she's going to get the second lead in her next picture. She is? It's already done. But no one knows about it yet. Th they will. There's a whole publicity campaign being planned. Publicity? Publicity? They can't make a fool out of Alina Lamont. They can't make the laughing stock out of Alina Lamont. What do you think I am? Dumb or something? Why? I make more than Kelly's put together. Now don't start worrying. No, don't start worrying. I better go CRF before Lena gets there. She really can't do anything, can she? Just relax and come in. He holds her in his arms, would you, would you? He tells her of her charms, would you, would you? They met as you and I, and they were only friends. Absolutely nothing. 
Yeah. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> All right. Lena, honey, I gotta go. Now stay calm. You know how it makes you sweat. And remember, last time you got hives. Oh, oh Zelda. Send for me, boss? Where's Don? I think he's working with Kathy Selden. So that's the problem. Now, Hurricane Lena just came storming through here. Well, good thing I was in the inner office casting. So Lena found out. She's upset. A little. Say, RF, have you seen the new footage of the Wit You number? You know, that Selden girl is great, Cosmo, no matter what Lena says. You know, when this picture's released, I'm gonna give her a big build-up. How much do we have left to do, though? We're still trying to crack the big production number, boss. Tap dancing. Huh? We gotta have tap dancing. We can't have tap dancing. The picture takes place in the front. We gotta have tap dancing. We've gotta have tap dancing. Do you see? Uh, 
How's this? Uh, we throw a modern section into the picture. The hero's a young Broadway hoofer, right? Right. He sings and dances, right? Right. One night backstage, he's reading a tale of two cities when suddenly a sandbag falls on his head and voila! He dreams he's back in the French Revolution, right? Oh, that's sensational. Splendid, Cosmo, but how do you suppose we do that? Close your eyes, close your eyes, and imagine this. Don't bring a frown to old Broadway. You've got a clown on Broadway. Your troubles there are out of style. For Broadway always wears a smile. A million hearts beat quicker there. A million lights, they flicker there. No clouds of gray on that great white way. That's the Broadway melody. Gotta dance, gotta dance, gotta dance, gotta dance, gotta dance, gotta
Well, boss, what do you think? It's a little hard to imagine. Could you maybe explain it to me again? <laughs> They're loving it. This is an R.F. Simpson production. Oh, well. Monumental pictures, wildly enthusiastic over Lena's singing pipes and dancing stems? I never said that. Premiere tomorrow night to reveal Lena Lamont big musical talent? Boss, you can't pull a switch like this on the publicity department. We were all prepared for the campaign on Kathy Selden. And now you listen to me, Rod, all right? I, I had nothing to do with that, all right? I never said any of that. Well, what are we going to do? Nothing. You wouldn't want to call the papers and say Lena Lamont is a big fat liar. Lena, did you send that stuff out? I gave an exclusive story to every newspaper in town. You'll never get away with this, Rod. Go and call the newspapers back up. I wouldn't do that if I were you, all. You don't tell me what to do, Lena. What do you think I am, dumb assumption? I had my lawyers go over my contract. Contract? Yeah. And I control my publicity. Not you. Yeah? Yeah. The studio's responsible for every word printed about me, and if I don't like it, I can sue. <laughs> what? I can sue! If you tell the papers about Kathy Selden, it would be... Detrimental and deleterious to my career. I could sue you for the whole studio. <laughs> no, that's that's a load of nonsense right there, Lena. Mm. Well, it says so right here. Contract dated June 8, 1925, paragraph 34, subdivision letter A, party of the first part. That's me. You win, Lena. You satisfied? Oh, only one little thing. Oh, more. what's that, huh? You want me to change the name of the studio to the Lamont Pictures Incorporated, huh? <laughs> RF, you're cute. No, I was just thinking. You've given this girl a part in Zelda's picture, and you're gonna give her an even bigger one in the next. So. So, if she's done such a great job doubling for my voice, don't you think she'd better go on doing just that and nothing else? Why, you're, you're out of your mind, Lena. After all, I am more important to the studio than she is. Now, you listen to me, all right? Why, I, I wouldn't do that to that girl in a million years. Why, you'd be throwing her whole career away. Yeah. P -p -p People don't do things like that. People? People? I ain't people! I'm a... Shimmering, glowing star in the cinema firmament! Oh, Pierre! My lady, can you ever forgive me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And would you dare to say you'll marry me someday? Yes, yes, I would. Yes, we
Luna, you were terrific. Clock joint and Lamont are going to be greater than ever. It was good, wasn't it? It worked, Don. It's a, it's a sensation. The public loves you two. You darn too, and they do. They're screaming. Go out there and take a bow. Go on. <laughs> Congratulations, kids. It's a smash. We owe a lot to you two. Thanks. Kathy, we made it. Don, it's a miracle. Great, Don. Lena, you were fabulous. You sang as well as Kathy Selden. Yeah. And I'm going to for a long time. What do you mean? I mean she's going to keep right on doubling for me. I thought there was something cooking under those bleach curls of yours. Now try and get this through your head. Kathy just did this to save this one picture. That's what you think. Come on, they're tearing the house apart. Go after them, get another bow. Go on, go on. Lena's getting a little carried away, isn't she, Bob? Yes, yes she is. Listen, you rattlesnake. Don't get any bright ideas about the future. Tell her, R.F. Oh, never mind, R.F. Listen to that applause out there. It's for me, for Lena Lamont. Wait till the money starts rolling in. You're not going to give all that up just because a little nobody who nobody ever heard nothing about don't want to be my voice. Why don't you tell her off, R.F.? I, I, I don't know. I'm... I'm so confused. This whole thing is just it's so big. Come on, they're tearing the house apart. Go out there and get another bow. Go on, go on. I once gave you a cigar. Can I have it back? Cosmo, you're not going to come up to me. Look, all right, if you go through with this, you're gonna have to get yourself another boy. I won't stand for it. Oh, God. I mean it, all right. You're gonna have to do your Lockwood Lamont pictures without Lockwood. So, who needs you? I'll be twice as big without you. People would still come to see me if I played opposite a monkey. Ah, uh, now, just you wait a minute, Lena, all right? Dawn's a smash, too, and I'm still running this studio. Well, I'm not so sure. You're the big Mr. Producer, always running things. Running me. Well, from now on, I'm running me as far as I'm concerned. I'm running the studio. I think you've gone a little too far, Lena. <laughs> the speech done. They're yelling for a speech. A speech? Yeah, a speech. Well, everybody's always making speeches for me. So tonight, for the first time, I'm gonna do my own talking. I'm gonna make the speech. No, Lena, oh, wait, don't. wait just a minute, Rod. Tonight's Lena's big night, and she's entitled to do her own talking, right? Right. You're darn right. Right. an idea. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, oh. Lena, we've got it. It's perfect. Rod, go behind the stage and get a microphone and set up back that curtain. Miss Selden will stand behind the microphone and sing for you. John! Got to do it, Kathy. This thing is just too big. Lena's bigger than all of us. Nothing must stand in the way. Wait, so you mean she's gonna be at the back of the curtain singing? And I'll be out front, uh, making with the mouth, like, like in the picture. That's it. I'll never do it. She's got to do it. Why, of course she's got to do it. She's got a five-year contract with me. Get behind the microphone, Miss Selden. You heard him, Kathy. Do it. All right. I'll do it, Don. But I'll never see you again, on or off the screen. 
Your audience awaits. At last, somebody's getting some sense around here. Thank you, Donnie. Miss Lamont, Miss Lamont, what piece are you going to sing? Would you? Would you? Miss Lamont, what key? A flat. A flat! That's the girl whose voice you heard and loved in the picture tonight. She's the real star of the movie, Kathy Selden. at me they were gleaming beaming I was starstruck you're all my lucky charms Oh. 